Hello Aquarius and welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all well. Uh, for those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome and cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well because these, uh, you know, the roles can always be flipped. They can always be reversed, okay? So Aquarius, apply to your situation, okay? So, you know, we are in October. So in, um, you know, in spirit of Halloween, um, I will be using my uh, Halloween deck. So I'll be using first the Haunted House Tarot and I'll be clarifying it with the Halloween Tarot deck, okay? So if you want your own um, deck for yourself, I'll put the link down below for those in Australia and those obviously, you know, in America or overseas. I don't get any commission from it. Um, I'm not affiliated with any links. That's if you just, if you like these cards and you want them for yourself, um, I'm happy to share the link for you, okay? So Aquarius, let's get straight into your weekly love reading, okay? Um, and I'll also be doing a bonus finance and career reading for you as well um, in the next couple of days, okay? So keep your eyes peeled for that. All right, Aquarius, what's going on in your heart space? Who are you thinking about the most? Whether you're in connection with them or not, what is happening? Let's see. For Aquarius, please. I keep seeing that Ace of Cups. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. Could be someone new, yeah? Let's see. For Aquarius, please, what is going on? Oh, your cards really want to talk today. All right, bottom of the deck, what do we have? Wow. We got your energy right here. Queen of Swords. There we go. So you actually could very well be dealing um, with an Aquarius, um, a Libra, especially a Libra, and also a Gemini. Okay. Um, but yeah, at the, someone could be really thinking about you. Hmm. What else do we have? We have the Chariot. Cancerian energy. Some of these could be in a long distance relationship. Doesn't have to be. Uh, but I do see someone pretty much charging towards you. The chariot is the fastest major arcana. Someone wants success and victory with you. They want this to work. Okay. Um, and this is very fast moving energy as well. Oh, wow. Look what you've got. The ten of cups. Okay. My happily ever after card. Emotional fulfillment. Having a family or even a blended family here. Okay. Wow, my, you know, I absolutely love this card because when this rolls over, we have the Ace of Cups as well, okay? We've got the Hanged Man, okay? Pisces Energy, so there could be a bit of a stallment, uh, a bit of a stalemate, maybe this connection, there's something preventing it from really reaching this potential of that Ten of Cups, okay? You know, it's almost like it's not moving forward, it's not moving back, it's just there, okay? What else? We have the Page of Swords, okay? So someone is watching you, someone's keeping tabs on you, and pages all represent um, messages, okay? So um, probably in the past with that page of swords, you may have received a message that was quite challenging, such as, you know, I want to give you this, but I can only give you this for now. So there's something here that's stalling this connection. Let's see. I'll put all the cards down first, okay? Um, so we have the Ten of Wands, okay? Ten of Wands is also ruled by Sagittarius. I feel like both of you are really ready to put down these burdens, okay? Drop the burdens. So let me put all the cards down first. We have Three of Cups, Nine of Wands. We have the Page of Swords and the Beating Heart of the Reading. What do we have? We have the Six of Swords, yeah. We have the, uh, this is the Queen of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. I'll just put the camera, whoops, back a little bit more. There we are. Want to make sure you can see everything. Oh, wow. We have the world. Ten of Swords. Something's come to an ending here. Or your person could be afraid that something will come to an end. I feel here, Aquarius, that the, the really the path for both of you has not been easy. Okay? It's been pretty much um, inundated with challenges here. Okay, but I really feel here that both of you are really just ready to drop these burdens. Okay, especially your person. I really feel they want to drop these burdens because, you know, you are there as the overall energy here. Okay, um, it's like simmering at the end until it starts boiling. And then, you know, eventually you're going to come here um, with these cards though. Okay, 
Um, yeah, and it's, something's happened. Mm, I want to still get to the bottom of this. There is a desire here with that Three of Cups Cancerian energy that they do want to reunite with you, okay? They want this union. They want peace and harmony now. They want to provide this to you as well. Some of you may have the same group um, of friends as well. It's a very social card. It's about asking you out here. Um, you know, you could even have kind of like hang out maybe with the same, you know, different families, but it's kind of like, you know, it's a very social card. That's what I'm saying. It's about going out, it's about engagements, being invited to marriage, uh, weddings and all that. But we do have here, so sandwiched between this beautiful card, we have the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands, okay? Um, more Sagittarius energy. Now, your person at the moment in regards to this connection is feeling quite deflated, okay? Very defeated here. This is the Wounded Warrior, okay? Um, but they're not giving up, okay? This energy is about not giving up and fighting for what you want here, okay? Um, and they do know that you will have, or you, you actually do have, your um, your guard up. You have your walls up. You're still cool, calm, and collected, um, but you're very apprehensive about this, okay? It's almost like, oh, okay, what are you going to bring now? Because certainly Aquarius, you don't want them to bring back problems to you, okay? Now, with this Knight of Swords, okay, definitely for you as advice, Aquarius, is to not do anything impulsive, okay? Um, if you want to take your time in replying to them, um, or if they give an ultimatum, I would say definitely take your time, okay? This is the fastest night. Now, they very well could be doing something impulsive when that's on them, okay? But I do see them reaching out to you. Um, so, nights are all about messages, they're all about changes here. And I feel like the main theme here of their um, message here with that six of swords is that they want to move into calmer waters with you it's like they want to move on but they want you to come with them okay um now definitely this some of these could be at a distance maybe one of these are also thinking of relocating starting fresh could be for work or personal reasons as well okay i'm also seeing here the queen of pentacles i'm getting two messages okay one they are definitely seeing as this beautiful queen of pentacles someone reliable um you could be actually really financially stable or really on your way to being financially stable um someone reliable a shoulder to cry on basically um but this also six of pentacles can also show me that maybe they have moved away from a possible commitment or marriage here as well okay because the queen and the king of pentacles is renowned where they are already committed to someone else okay but i see them walking away okay so I'm getting two messages there. All right, now we do have the page of uh, pentacles, Capricorn energy. There could be an age difference here, okay? And there could also be children involved for some of you. Um, preferably, they do want face-to-face -face communication with you, but I am seeing contact here kind of like in the middle of the night. I don't know why I'm getting like nine o'clock. That's like very specific, or even after nine o'clock here, but they, there's something here they want to offer you, okay? So we have the world here. Now, you could be dealing with some fixed signs, okay? Because Aquarius is in here as well. Okay, um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, another Aquarius, Leo, uh, Taurus, and Scorpio. Okay, um, so they do want this to start over again. Okay, again, showing me that distance here between you. Um, but the problem is, though, is that we have the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. Okay, something came to a very cold, sad ending here. Okay, and you're definitely not forgetting about this. Okay, um, and if you relieve it, it's like it happened yesterday. Some of you, this could have happened 10 months ago or even up to 10 weeks ago, okay? Um, that's just for some of you, okay? This is about loss, ending, separation, and divorce as well, okay? So maybe you were with, maybe you were married to your person or maybe you were talking about this. For some of you, I'm seeing here that there was a commitment here, okay? Um, that someone, possibly your person, may have been committed to someone else or they could have been um, married. Um, either way, though, I'm really seeing here that um, a lot of you felt really betrayed by your person, okay they may have just ended this really like cold-heartedly you know what i mean um and they just you didn't really have time to see we've got that six of swords six of bats is the six of swords okay so there's a desire here that they want to move basically they want to be back in your good graces again okay yeah see that is them the six of ghosts that is a six of cups okay um so they're feeling very nostalgic okay they're feeling quite guilty about what they did i feel like they may have ended this quite impulsively. They didn't actually really think it through. Um, and even if they say, you know, I, I wasn't ready for this, um, whatever excuse they gave you, um, honestly, I'm, I'm not feeling it was the exact truth, but it's also at the same time, they didn't really think it through. Okay, absolutely not. So we have the devil that came out. Okay, Capricorn energy. 
they very well could be dealing here with a karmic as well um they may have actually toxic traits something was very unhealthy about this relationship maybe you saw that it wasn't going nowhere especially with the hanged man that we saw here someone here could also be over drinking as well bottom of the deck we have the king of wands okay so your you know your person is definitely very passionate about you okay sometimes this shows that someone could have a loyal heart as well i'm not really seeing that this time for this person though but they are taking action okay they're also looking to the past reminiscing as well though okay interesting we also have the king of bats that's the king of swords energy yeah i'm definitely seeing here that there was too many people in this connection to be honest Maybe you have options as well, um, Aquarius, okay? Maybe you do have options. Someone wants to speak their truth to you, okay? We've also got Justice, Libra Energy, okay? So, yeah, honestly, all right, someone here could be going through some legalities, okay? Someone could be going through a divorce as well. The Justice card is also my apology card as well, wanting to right things that were wrong. We also have the Empress here, Taurus Energy, okay? So, yeah, very, I have to meet, you know, the Empress is all the kings, or sorry, all the queens wrapped up into one, okay? So they hold you in high regard. They want this to grow, absolutely. And with that Seven of Pumpkins, that's the Seven of Pentacles, they really want to invest in this. They want to nourish this, okay? Um, I'm feeling for some of them, it's this is way too late. The damage has been quite severe in this connection, okay? Four of Pumpkins. So the Four of Pumpkins is the Four of Pentacles, okay? Capricorn energy. There is a refusal here to let you go. Some of you are definitely not talking, okay? There is a period here of let the dust settle first, okay? Um, but there is a refusal to let you go. That's why they want to drop these burdens, okay? We also have the Sun. You could be dealing with um, Leo energy, okay? So yes, once upon a time, you both of you made each other happy, okay? But I really feel here that not only do you make them really, really, really happy, but if you were actually to reciprocate and say, okay, let's try again, that would be honestly like the icing on the cake for them. It's pure happiness for them. Um, definitely though, I, I, what I like about the sun, it's a card of blessing. So with all these other challenging cards, it does soften the effect of them as well though. We do have the page of ghosts, okay? That's the page of uh, cups, okay? Definitely we're having an apology coming your way. We have a love offer. Um, Aquarius, you might be younger, okay, um, than this person. Like, as I said, because I did see there was an age difference here as well, okay? It could be, obviously, you know, vice versa. Um, not only are they watching you, though, but, yeah, most definitely here, um, there is a love offer. So, pages are all about messages here, okay? Yeah, I feel like that's what is that's going to make them drop these burdens, okay? There's that six of cups again, six of ghosts. That is definitely someone from your past. Soulmate connection, soulmate contract. Could be children here, could have been lifelong friends. There's definitely history here between both of you, okay? And that's at that refusal to let you go because every time they think of you, you know, you make them very, very happy. But they did something impulsive, and I think they will admit that. It's like they didn't think it through, and now, well, may, uh, some of you may have moved on already, okay? King of Ghosts, this is the King of Cups, okay? Yeah. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, strong Scorpio though, okay? Maybe in the past they didn't exactly fully know how to express themselves emotionally, okay? But probably still have a hard time doing it now, but now they're looking to the future, okay? They have, they're really up in their feelings for you, okay? Look at that. The Four of Imps is the Four of Wands, Soulmate, Twin Flame card. It's my marriage card as well. They see longevity with you. It's about coming together. It's about celebrating as well, okay? Um, definitely some of these could have been living together, thinking about moving in together. Um, this is also a change of address as well, okay? Oh, wow. So they see longevity with you. This is far from over. We've got the Four of Bats. This is the Four of Swords, okay? So definitely, Aquarius, you are healing here, okay? Um, you're healing, you're gathering your strength, you're gathering your energy. It is linked to also mental burnout, okay? Um, your person could also be kind of healing and recovering from whatever's going on in their life as well, okay? When we get the Four of Bats, Four of Swords, um, really, this card is saying just gather your energy, okay, and prepare yourself because we've, it's on top of the fastest night here, okay? So there will be some action required on your part, some decision making. You need your mental energy, but just don't do it impulsively, if kind of that makes sense, yeah? Three of Pumpkins. This is the um, Three of Pentacles. It's also my marriage card as well. Some of you actually may have met through work okay, or study, professional network um, of friends here, but they want to collaborate with you, okay, um, they want to be part, 
you know, team Aquarius again, okay? Work with you, not against you. I feel like they want to make up for lost time, um, but it's more like they want to just kind of show you that, well, I made a really bad decision. Um, I did it quite impulsively, and then I feel like they, they regretted it instantly, to be honest. There's that Ten of Bath, see? Ten of Swords. I feel like a lot of you will probably find it very hard to forgive your person. I feel like also some of these when you really needed your person, they were gone. We do have the Ten of Swords twice. That is endings here, okay? I want to see what else we've got with that card. Yeah, the Two of Wands. That's the Two of Imps. So some of you have already made up your mind, okay? They want to move into Karma Waters with you. A lot of you will probably say no because you know you deserve better than that. Not a relationship based on an impulsive decision of, I'm going to end this, uh, but hey, please take me back. It's like, you know, Aquarius, it, you know, relationships do not work like that, okay? We have judgment, okay? Um, Libra energy. Yeah. They, I, I, yeah, this is kind of like that light bulb moment, that soul awakening where they realize I shouldn't have not done that because relationships don't work like that. I definitely see them making a comeback, turning, you know, coming back around saying, can we please try again though? Um, hmm, what else do we have there? The six of imps. Yeah. The six of wands because they want this to be victorious. Okay. This is a very slow moving success. Okay. It's not going to happen overnight. They know that they're going to have to work very hard for this. Um, but they want they want victory with you, okay? They want this to work. I feel like they've gotten way too much attention in the past. That probably bothered you as well. But yeah, it's almost like, you know, they're saying that they've changed, but I feel like a lot of you are like, I forgive you, but no thank you, okay? We also have the Eight of Imps. This is the Eight of Wands, okay? Fast-moving energy here, okay? So you got the you got the Chariot. You got the Fastest Major. You got also the Fastest Knight with the Knight of Swords. And they got the Fastest Minor Arcana. So expect things. And I feel like that's why they're saying with that Four of Swords to kind of, you know, take care of your energy because now there's a lot of fast movement coming here towards you. A lot of en quick changes. Um, some of these definitely could be at a distance, but there's a lot of back and forth messages here, okay? The world and it weird because it's right next to the world here as well okay some of you are definitely seeing this as an ending okay because where there is an ending there is a beginning of course um but yeah this cycle has come to a close it's them that refuses to let you go because we also have that four of um where is it the four of pentacles that's right ace of cups some of you are definitely moving on okay this is brand new love coming your way what else Ace of Bats. Oh, so you've got two aces on top of the world. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Bats. So, yeah, I feel like some of you have already met someone else. Okay. There we go. Some of you have already met someone else. We've got brand new love and brand new clarity. Okay. Yeah, definitely. The Page of Wands. Yeah, they're going to message you. Followed by the Eight of Pumpkins. So what is it that they're going to message you about? The Eight of Pentacles is all about, I'm prepared to work hard on this. And I am prepared to prove to you that um, I'm not going to go anywhere again. Okay. But it is on top of that Ten of Swords again. So honestly, I this impulsive decision, what they did on ending this. Because I feel like a, a lot of these never saw this coming. Um, they're really paying for it now. So if you do want to open lines of communication with this person um at least you know just consider that they're desperate kind of to win you back okay if you don't want to um you definitely have new love here if this hasn't happened already um aquarius please bear in mind that you've got a brand new romance coming your way okay a brand new one completely different i'm liking this energy okay Wow, so prepare yourself, Aquarius. All right, I will see you in the next couple of days, Aquarius. Please, please take care of yourself. All the very best. Take care. Bye.